Hey everybody, it is Rock and today is a day 11, that's 1-1. One, one. We're getting really close to single digit days in the countdown. Got a game of team deathmatch here on Crash, gonna be using the AK-47, no attachments on it. Bandolier, stopping power, and deep impact. Gonna lead off with a grenade here, but I don't get anything with it. Get the juggernaut in the window, thanks to the deep impact. That guy spawned over there, or if he walked over there and I just didn't see him, but thanks to the turtle beaches, I heard him moving around there. I end up just dropping that airstrike basically on my own position and just getting up out of there. the helicopter. What I wanted to talk about today for Modern Warfare 2, I wanted to talk a little bit about the specialized things we'll be getting. We'll actually get a riot shield, which I think is going to really alter the way this game is played. Um, I think teams that have one or two people that utilize the riot shield are really going to make a big difference. Because two guys with a riot shield can kind of link up and pretty much storm any building full of opposition with a couple of guys behind them. They would be pretty unstoppable, I think. Uh, the only the only counter that I know of to the riot shield is a stun or flash grenade that is supposed to make you drop the shield. Go ahead and get my chopper in the air so the guy that just dropped his airstrike won't get his up. I'm actually looking forward to using the riot shield. Um, I know it's fun to kill people and get, you know, get a high kill count, but I think it's going to be pretty interesting to use a riot shield and be able to just basically walk into gunfire like that and have a buddy behind me uh, just take out whoever's left, you know. Another interesting thing is the blast shield. Uh, it's going to make you even more protected against explosives like grenades. Um, I'm wondering if it will actually look like a welding mask, which is what what pictures I've seen, it looks like you're wearing a, 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 some type of a welding mask. Now, I wonder, will you your character really look like that? I guess in 11 more days, we will find out. Other team has their chopper coming in. This would be a great situation to have the AT-4, which is a launcher to take down that chopper. Enemy UAV is airborne. I'm wondering, uh, I've heard that it will take more than one shot from the AT-4 to take down something like an AC-130. I wonder what it will be on choppers. Will it be as a you know a one shot kill on choppers? I do know it will take multiple hits though on an AC-130. Some of uh, some of the attachments are going to be kind of unique. You're you're going to have a lot more to choose from than just the standard red dot sight, silencer, grenade launcher, and grip. 
Those will all be back, but then you'll also have the choice to put on the heartbeat sensor. Uh, full metal jacket ammo, which is basically going to be like deep impact. Then you can use the extended magazines, which is going to be like bandolier. You're going to be able to put an under the barrel shotgun, which I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to work. Um, it's commonly known as the master key because like SWAT tactical units, they would use that to breach a door. They would have a mini shotgun mounted underneath their assault rifle. And they would give a shotgun blast to each of the hinge points on the door. And kick the door open from there. So that's kind of why it's called a master key. You'll also have a, uh, a thermal scope, which I think will be pretty neat. Um, I think that will really help out on dark maps. You know, if you switch to that thermal thermal scope. I think it'll really help out on that. And then the last attachment that is new is a Kimbo, which is able to dual wield pistols. I'm pretty sure you cannot dual wield primary weapons, but uh, it's going to make things kind of interesting, I think. I don't know how, how effective it will be, though. I do understand that each gun will fire independently from the other. In other words, if you squeeze the trigger, you won't be firing both pistols at the same time. It will it will alternate, you know, firing your rounds. Like it'll be right pistol, then left pistol, right pistol, left pistol. So it'll be interesting to see how that how that looks. I'm sure it'll be quite odd. As we pick that guy off the wall for another chopper. I could have sworn I got that guy, but obviously he got me first. But uh, be sure to put in the comments below what what particular attachment or unique item like the riot shield or blast shield be sure to put what it is you're most forward to to trying out what you what you're looking forward to and that's the game we win 750 to 630. I go 31 and 8. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to rate the video and tune in tomorrow. We'll be at day 10. You guys take it easy.